And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. It is my great pleasure to welcome back to Houston Newsmakers Devin Anderson, former Harris County District Attorney and now President and CEO of Justice Ford as an organization whose mission statement is to break the cycle of incarceration. It's been around since 2003, but the name is new. Thank you for joining me, Devin. Good to see you Thank again. Thank you. You too. Good to, good to see you too, and thanks for having me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Tell, tell me about what Justice Ford is all about and, and what brought about the name change. Sure. So I think about a year ago, I was on your show talking about the Harris County Drug Court Foundation, which supported people uh, that are going through the four drug court programs in Harris County, helping them with transitional housing and trauma counseling, educational scholarships, transportation. Mm -hmm. So I was hired, though, to expand the mission to support all 18 specialty courts. We actually now have 18 from the four drug courts. We now have veterans courts, mental health courts. Juvenile has four courts. So we have renamed um, ourselves Justice Forward and have since February been supporting all the clients going through all of the drug, uh, all of the specialty courts. You know, from the outside looking in, people might be surprised that someone who spent their life as a prosecutor, uh, a DA, now that you're on basically the other side of the equation now, that's not necessarily so, although you've been able to see people throughout your time in the justice system. What has motivated you to be a part of this on the other side of the fence, so to speak? Well, I became interested in recovery when I was a drug court judge, and I actually saw the transformations take place because of the individually crafted uh, pro probation programs for the clients and the interaction with the judge and the team that was trying to help them become successful. I mean, literally saw miracles happen in that court every day, and it made me realize we can't treat uh, addicts and mentally ill in the criminal justice system by locking them up. Mm -hmm. That's not going to solve anything. We need to solve the problems that lead them to come in and out of the justice system over and over and over. And so it's just smart um, to, to deal with it this way, but it's also effective. I mean, over 70% of drug court graduates have never been rearrested. After five years, that was the, the, the percentage. I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a leap. I mean, if you think about just being smart in dealing with crime. Talk about the partnerships that you have now and how essential they are for your organization to work well. I saw the list on your website, all the different partnerships that you have, and it really is a formidable list of people and organizations that really are in, play, in, in the same fight with you to help make this happen. That's right, because we cannot do this by ourselves, and you can't live in a silo. And so we have housing partners like Santa Maria Hostel and ReCenter. Um, we work with Career and Recovery and Work Faith Connection to help people get jobs. Um, we have partners all over the county, and they have been essential in helping our clients re-enter their community and become, you know, valuable citizens right. to all of us. So uh, you're a nonprofit, so I know donations are critical. Talk about uh, how, what that process is like and about a really interesting and uh, exciting opportunity for people to get, for you to get match funds from this yes. great uh, organization. Yes, the Rockwell Fund has given us a $50,000 uh, matching grant opportunity that's good through to December 1st. And so if you go to our website, justiceforwardhouston.org, um, there's a donate page. We would love for you to donate before December 1st because every dollar you donate is matched by Rock, uh, the Rockwell Fund. And we also have a picnic coming up, um, a socially distanced affair. And uh, that's the best way we can do it. We think it's gonna be fun and safe and there's uh, information on that on our event page. Well, I am not shocked at all that you would be involved in an organization that now has expanded, quadrupled and multiplied <laughs> so much. I'm not shocked at all that you're doing that because you've always jumped in feet first and you've really put your heart and soul into what you're doing and it shows right now. Uh, have you been able to sit back and watch what's going on in your former uh, DA office? Anything about what's going on there make you want to jump back into politics? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm concerned as a citizen who lives here and has kids here, but no, no, sir. I am very happy to be out of politics, especially right now. Okay, so I, I, I was going to give you time to think about that, but apparently you don't need <laughs> no, that, so. <laughs> don't need to. I'm loving this work. It's so satisfying because we actually get to see and interact with the people that we help, and it's been really great. Well, I'm going to put all of your information on the Newsmakers page on clicktohouston.com so that people can get their information and maybe be a part of uh, getting you getting a matching grant for you, okay? 
Thank you very much. And, Appreciate and, that. And give my best to your mom. One of the best I shows, know. one of the best newsmaker shows I've ever done was the Mother's Day show that I had. You remember that, right? I had you and your mom on the show. I, you mm -hmm. need to go, we need to get pull that up out of the archives. That's one of the best shows ever. <laughs> That's right. It is good. Thank you. Right. And she loved it. And yeah. I'll tell her you said hi. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> good luck and congratulations. All right. Thank okay. you again. Thank you. Final thoughts and a look ahead to next week. Right after this.